And we begin here at 6 with a shooting that left a teenager dead outside of the Castleton Square Mall. We're learning that the victim is a 16-year-old boy. WRTV's Rachel Wilkerson speaks to a witness and IMPD about this frightening situation. At just 16 years old, Michael Mason Jr. marks the city's second homicide of the year. He was shot and killed in the Castleton Square Mall parking lot Tuesday night. As we were pulling up, people were running from the mall, almost in like frantic. Devin Craig was leaving a nearby restaurant when first responders started pouring in. He witnessed medics desperately trying to save this young man's life. My heart began to drop and I began to just pray in the spirit that Lord, please save this individual, uh, not knowing that it was a young person, but it's a human life, you know, sitting there helpless. IMPD says the man that was with Mason was also shot and is still recovering. We are waiting to see how he and Mason knew each other. We watched as detectives canvassed the area from K Jewelers to the AMC Theater looking for evidence. A person of interest was detained on scene, but no arrest has been made in the case. IMPD says the department is increasing its police presence. We understand that there are circumstances that occur with a isolated incident. And that does put fear in people, but we are doing everything we can. Less than a week into the new year, and two teenagers have been killed in separate shootings. I, I feel horrible for those parents. Um, I've witnessed it myself. I know people who have lost kids to gun violence. Indianapolis resident Michael Hayes says gun violence isn't the answer. We cannot fracture our neighborhoods with gunfire. We just can't keep doing it. A message, Craig echoes. Indianapolis is a very resilient community, and this is not us. Violence is not us, and we can overcome. It just takes a community effort to overcome. Let's get connected, get connected with a mentor, uh, big brothers, big sisters, um, and reach out for help. You know, and drop the guns is not, that's not the solution. Our officers aren't just officers. They're parents, they're aunts, they're uncles. You know, they have kids that are the same ages, and sometimes you go home and you just hug your kid a little bit tighter. Working for you, Rachel Wilkerson, WRTV. And if you have any tips in this case, you are asked to call Crime Stoppers of Central Indiana. That number is 317-262-TIPS.